Welcome friends, it's Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm making two more cards with the February uh, Hero Arts card kit. Starting with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I've cut to three and three quarters by eight and a half inches. I'm going to be making a slimline card today. And I'm placing stencil A on and will hold this down with my magnet. Then I want to mask off this bottom portion um, of my butter, of my stencil. And I am going to use as many of the inks in the kit as possible. But I'm making rainbow butterflies today, so I'm gonna start with red reactive ink and my detail brushes. These are the ones I've designated for dye inks um, so that I don't uh, cross contaminate my blender brushes. All right, so I am just going to add the red reactive. Try and get a good bit of color down. Then I'm gonna bring in the color palette from the kit. And then I'm gonna bring in orange. And I'm finding with these brushes, I haven't used them very long, uh, but you do have to pretty much ink straight up and down um, to get a good amount of ink on your panel. So by all means, if you have blender brushes or foams, use whatever you have. They're interesting. I think I have to get used to them, but the jury's still out on these. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in yellow, and I am overlapping the colors just a bit. Um, since these butterflies overlap, so I guess there will be a certain amount of blending, which I like. Okay, now green, I'm going to come in. This small butterfly is green. Bring in a piece of post-it note. Since this one is so small, I do want a little green on the next one just to blend, but I don't want a lot. So I'm bringing in this post-it note to prevent uh, more overlap. Okay, then I'm gonna bring in blue. So I don't have blue in the palette. I'm gonna use this early dawn reactive. Okay, bring, move this and bring in that early dawn. Oh, I hope it's not too dry. Um, I don't have re-inkers for, oops, I shifted my stencil. <sighs> Let's just get a, put a magnet up there. So blending in our early dawn. And I brought this blue in because it's a soft color like the inks in the palette. So I thought it would complement those colors. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then let's bring in the thistle. I'll bring in more red. Red. Blend that in. Now we'll come back in with orange. Now for the reveal. Oh, lovely. Okay. 
going to get ready to do the bottom. I'm moving, shifting my cardstock to one and one eighth um, from the left. Here I'm using those same post-it notes to mask off the uh, top area from the bottom, which is where I will be inking at the bottom the same way, but started backwards with thistle. I haven't moved my bottom, my panel, since I inked the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom first. I have, I'm using stencil C, so I'm skipping, let me see, skipping B, um, because I don't uh, want these uh, uh, designs as a part of this panel. Here I'm bringing in the red and placing that on top of my purple butterfly to accent it and then I'm going to bring in my green to accent the blue. I'm going to keep bringing in uh, colors to accent my bottom butterflies. I accent the third butterfly with blue and then the remaining ones with yellow and I uh, clean my stencil off just a bit off camera there and bring it back and place it over the top butterflies so that I can go ahead and add the detail to them. I finished the detailed uh, coloring on the top portion of my stencil and then used my heat tool to dry my panel. So I have my panel in my splat box. I have dried my butterflies and now I'm going to spray them with water. And they are going to bleed a little bit and that's what I want. Here I am just taking a clean paper towel and just blotting that excess water and uh, water off and uh, then I will use my heat tool to finish drying. I was going for an impressionistic look and I like the way this turned out. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't recording. Uh, and I did use that thistle ink to, and the scripty stencil to add uh, just some script to this panel. I concentrated the uh, stencil uh, in between the butterflies. So here I'm working on my sentiment. I'm using Canary um, cardstock by Hero Arts and alabaster white embossing powder with clear Versamark ink uh, to ink the sentiment from the kit. So I am going to use the um, fuchsia and gold duo spray that came in the kit. I've already mixed mine with water and fill it about an inch all the way up to about an inch from the top and that's just above this uh, label. Shaking it well and um, I am just going to spray the ends or around the perimeter. Don't want a lot of this spray but I want um, I guess enough to kind of tie it in uh, with my design. So that's enough. I do want to splatter my yellow butterflies a bit. Just enough to get color on them. So now I'm going to just use a dry paper towel to get off some of this excess. I don't want all of that. Taking off the excess uh, ink from or spray from my butterflies and then I'm going to bring in my heat tool and just finish uh, speed up drying on both the butterflies and uh, my panel. 
Okay, I have my card uh, panel. I trimmed it down to three and a half by eight and a quarter. I popped up my sentiment using foam tape to add a bit of texture, and then I'm going to align that uh, flush right. I am um, placing my butterflies on my panel, um, trying to get them situated where I want them. Then I will bring in some craft tacky glue and affix them to my panel. Since my canary cardstock is more expensive, I did cut my butterflies from that same panel that I'm using for my mat and then replace them with white butterflies. I have partially released the release tape on my vocal panel. Before I commit it, I just kind of want to make sure I have it where I want it. And if the release paper folds back in, I can use my tweezers to fish that out. And to finish off this card, I'm bringing in my Purple Rain Nouveau Glitter Drops and adding three of those. I really love this impressionistic look. So card number two, I'm using the Rub-Ons, uh, the Rub-On Butterflies from the kit. And uh, just using just cutting out uh, the ones that I think I'm going to use for this card. This large floral from, and placing it in the bottom left corner of my slimline card. I've cut my panel and I'm using cardstock from the kit um, and uh, cut my panel to three and a half by eight and a quarter and there is also the popsicle stick in the kit that uh, you use to rub this on and so I am doing so and uh, I am just gently going to check to make sure that I've got everything stuck down and if I don't I'm just um, um, placing that to film back down and uh, making sure I add uh, um, more pressure and get that entire piece off. So I'm just going to slowly lift little by little and until I get everything affixed down. So I'm going to keep adding uh, my florals onto this Star Dream Coral cardstock. Um, next I'm going to uh, place my panel into my Misty and place my grid sheet over top and then line up my sentiment uh, thank you from the kit and um, I will stamp this three times to make sure I got good coverage prep this for heat embossing and heat emboss um, using Versafine Onyx Black Ink and some clear embossing powder. Next I place my butterflies on my panel and just um, position them where I want them uh, before I remove the film and commit them. Off camera, I did cut one of my butterflies in half um, so that um, I could use one as if it were a side image and then the other kind of floating off the edge of the panel. One by one, I will remove the release paper and just go ahead and affix these down. And then I will come back with my popsicle stick and rub these on and commit. I do that off camera for this card because in card number one, I showed you that full process. So I didn't want to waste your time on this one. Uh, and then once I'm done with uh, committing all of these images, add a few more florals towards the bottom. Uh, and then we'll um, add some Purple Rain Nouveau Drops um, just to tie all of this in and I like the way this turned out. So here I'm bringing in my uh, craft tacky glue and I'm going to affix this panel to my black card base.
I'm going to trim off uh, uh, just a sliver from the bottom of my cardstock, a sliver of this card base. Let's take a closer look at both cards I made in today's video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, good day friends.